You guys, I love weekends because I got my favorite helper. That's right. <laughs> Jason's out here helping me. We're moving these stones. This is for our corner gardens. We want it to feel really natural and just quaint and amazing. And yeah, so we yeah. brought in these boulder rocks, which are awesome. They're not really boulders. They're like mini boulders. But how many inches are these, Jason? Uh, they range from like, uh, they're mostly like 16 to 18 inches. Like, doot, doot, you know, yeah. 18. Yeah. Oh, so here's a good little tip. So um, we said that we needed about uh, 20 of these boulders. That's what we thought was gonna like work for all the beds. But when you buy stone, no matter if it's small stone or big stone like this, they sell it by the ton. So the guy asked me, well, you know, do you need a ton, a ton and a half? I'm like, I, I don't know. I mean, I need about 20 big boulders. And then he told me that that actually equals out to about a ton and a half. And I would really love to put those boulders along this border here. These are actually just railroad ties that I had Jason cut. So it looked almost like little wood pavers when we first created this garden about eight years ago. But they lasted nice. But I really just would love to bring in more of that stone here. Yeah, and we can use these somewhere else. They're still solid, but definitely having the stone would look really cool in here. So it would. We'll, we'll do that at some point. That'll be on our to-do project list that's that big. <laughs> <laughs> look, you couldn't even see his arms in the camera where they went. <laughs> his arms extended magically. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> To give you an idea too, if you're doing a project around the yard, this can make a space look really awesome. It was about $280 for a ton and a half of this big, uh, you know, 12 to 18 inch stone is, is what you would see in the stone yards. I feel like the stone makes such a huge difference to the yeah. large boulders. So at that cost point, you know, it's not that it's so cheap or anything, but it's also not super expensive to create a complete change yeah and you usually only see like really big stone like this if you have like a professional landscape company coming in so when you see that you're like wow how did they do that you know those stones are so big really get a dolly you know they they dump the stone in the driveway and like casey and i are doing even with my arm at 50 percent we can still move these things around so. yeah and this was an ergonomic steel barrel that i got for my dad for christmas one year and we use this thing he, a ton. but he told me he didn't want it <laughs> yeah yeah that's right so it's a His normal loss. <laughs> the wheels the wheels like come back and it's like yeah. a normal wheel wheelbarrow with a little you know stand that you can yeah. set it but this dolly part like we've moved probably a hundred of these boulders with this thing and yeah we're not like being paid to say this obviously you can tell this isn't a new product this is not definitely not a product video right. um but what what brand was this anyway because uh, what is it called? Works? Works. Works. And it works. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm telling you, even manure, I mean, it's seen everything. <laughs> yeah, it has. One of the other things that we've been working on is the chicken and duck house. You saw how we got the roof peaked and expanded so we can stand up in there. And what we want to do now is create an area off the back of that so we can leave those doors open. The chickens and ducks can come in and out as they please. And in this specific area, it's going to be completely enclosed. The base is already protected because it's it's got the trees around it. You can see they're down there right now. <laughs> but what we're going to do is use... We're going to kind of attach it to the bunny enclosure. So we're going to continue the two by fours. We're going to continue that solid wall all the way through here so that this area behind the chicken house is fully protected. We'll put netting over the top as well. Okay, well, I'm almost done with everything. Um, you can see we've got a, a gate here now off of the back of the bird bird coop. Look at our ducks there enjoying the pond. Oh, look at <laughs> Oh boy, somebody, I should say, they don't want to miss being on, uh, on camera. Look at that. But now they can come out of that little fence in an area. We've got this uh, larger enclosed area. It's tough to see, but we've got the, the black fencing now 
that's about I would say eight foot tall and then I'm gonna still put netting over the top of that so that no birds can swoop in and they'll be completely protected in here but let's go and check it out all right so here's the uh, bird coop itself there and so now they've got this area that comes around so you can see here that the they can look right into the bunny enclosure there the bunnies can come right up to them as well so it's uh it's an awesome setup back here plus when we are sitting in the garden room over there we can see the bunnies over here we can we can see the the ducks in the pond we can watch the chickens over here it's uh it's quite entertaining we're really getting some uh some cool space back here all right casey is finishing up the fire pit it looks so cool Collection threw up all over this thing. <laughs> it looks so awesome. I mean, it's definitely a work of art. A few um, more stones so to put in? I'm, I'm filling in any little gaps with the smaller stones, and we have such a huge rock collection from, you know, Lake Michigan, Madeline Island, um, from when we were in Michigan at that beach uh, to the farm here where we found so many Druzy quartz that are really sparkly to just my own personal stone, rock, and crystal collection. Because when I was little, I wanted to be a geologist, so I always had all these stones and stuff, but um, that didn't happen. So <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to this display happened. them here. <laughs> she was so tired last night that she won't move at all tonight. <laughs> So show us what, uh, how do we, how do we get her to, to go forward? Um, so, I got her to move. I'm gonna go check out some duckies, okay? Okay? Come on. And then I also learned how to stop her float. It works, and she's around dirt, okay? <laughs> Luna walks Look, we got all, we got Luna, we got the bunnies. Casey's in there by the the ducks and the chicks. Sayla's going in there to feed her ducks and chickens. Getting a muck out here of the. Yeah, the duck I poop. I'm sorry, but I love these kids' snow shovels. I mean, we didn't buy them for that purpose, but they are awesome. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got one of the chicks on Sayla's head here. Is that pepperoni? <laughs> yeah. Performing a circus act. Pepperoni's crazy. <laughs> so the chickens are really funny. They uh, and the ducks too. They all follow everybody around. They like the the human interaction, right, Sayla? <laughs> they come like if you come in there, they like to come by you. They like their pets, and they don't mind being held either. No. And I like <laughs> putting so pepperoni tame. on my arm. <laughs> They're super tame, yeah. Some people say it hurts, but it really doesn't. <laughs> well, once you get used to it. But like on your first time, I like it. And they started off living in our house. I don't in know if you guys knew that. Yeah. <laughs> well, in a cage in the bathtub. Yeah. But, I mean, so they were constantly held by Sayla. So. <laughs> <laughs> They've been working on training her and getting her to listen and Luna's been loving it because they've been walking her around all day and doing activities with her and Luna loves the interaction so she's been going along with it. But yeah, she's done really well listening to the girls, and she's just been enjoying herself. Well, Sailor's got her back in her area now, which includes, her area includes part of the greenhouse, which you, you've seen that before, but she gets to go in there when she's feeling cool and wants to warm up and look at the plants.
So earlier in the video, we were moving these big boulders around which are, are behind us. We've got them all into place now, but when Casey and I were moving these, she ended up, we were putting one of the rocks, <laughs> boulders in the wheelbarrow and the handles jerked down while she was holding onto it and she pulled muscles in her neck. So she, she was out of commission for a couple of days. So um, I was able to get the rest of them in place with the exception of two and then I had some help to do that But Casey also just finished up the fire pit. Let's go take a look at all this awesome Rock works behind so the corner gardens are coming into place here You can kind of see the shape of the triangle there some of these stones like this one here is big enough and comfortable to sit on so we've got the four corner gardens here still got to move a couple boulders around but this is the special the special part of all of this is the the fire pit that that she just finished today look at all of these stones here she mortared them all in she was able to use all of the stones that we've found throughout the years in the field just really really special stones to us she intermixed some of her crystals in there but all of these cool stones that that we found in the in the field over the years that we just haven't really you know been able to to do anything with are all now here i mean look at got a pine cone in there but the colors the shapes of art i'm really really proud of casey for this vision that she had with this and completing this this was a pretty tedious and, and tough job she this is an awesome view Luna can you say good night good night to everyone Luna and good night from Luna and a good night from the birds they're getting all all cozied in for the night you can't forget the bunnies Sage is the only one out here right now. We got pumpkin in here. 